Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Boost! I'm YouTube famous now. Available in 2021, the album, Dad. Yeah, AF, rock on gold dust woman. How are you guys doing today, tonight? It is at 6.32 p.m. I'm getting kind of a late start to my videos. I was trying to get things ready and then my cousin kept on calling me and finally she FaceTimed me and I'm like, my cousin never FaceTimes me. And so um, I like texted her, I said, I'm getting ready to film videos. And she goes, oh, put me in a video with FaceTime. I, would, I was like, no, not today, Caroline. We're not doing all that today. <laughs> so anyway, um, I wanna talk about Jaclyn Hill in a second and some things that, oh, I'm gonna drop my lip balm. Um, and some things that Jacqueline, she exposed her boyfriend. <laughs> I mean, not literally, but she exposed her boyfriend some secrets about him. Maybe secrets, not really so much, but some interesting tea about her boyfriend. We're gonna talk about that in just a second. Um, okay, so I have thought long and hard about uh, putting this out in this video, but I feel like it's necessary, so I'm gonna do it. Um, I think as many of you know, I have really in the last year, year and a half, try to stay in my own lane, try to just do my own thing, um, and try to make my own videos, not interact with a bunch of people, um, you know, whatever. And just kind of try to do my own thing. And it has worked, it has really worked for me. Um, my peace of mind, my serenity, and all of that. So I think it's not a mystery to anybody that watches drama channels that recently there has been a lot of drama within the drama community. Um, of which I wasn't really part of, and I'm not part of, really, because I just have, <laughs> I'm kind of an irrelevant drama channel. No, but I mean, I'm just not in that anymore, you know? Um, and I will say that going in to, and, and you can, these people, you can love them, you can hate them, whatever, okay? Going into 2020, there were three people that I, from the drama community, that I felt like I owed amends to. Um, and so... <laughs> Interestingly enough, yesterday, uh, Paige Christie, she went on, Petty Page, she went on a live stream. Now, Paige has been somebody that has gotten tons of criticism lately. Um, she did a video saying she was leaving the drama community, blah, 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 whatever. I will tell you that, in all transparency, I watch all of this, okay? I watch all the, the videos, I've watched the live streams, I've watched the smaller channels, the bigger channels, I've watched all of it, okay? And, um, and I, I even think that some people are kind of confused about my involvement in a way that there isn't. And, um, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, so I started getting all these messages yesterday from people saying that Paige was live and that she was talking about me in her live stream. And I was like, okay, this is interesting because I felt like Paige and I had kind of put our, you know, our differences aside. And Paige and I did have our differences at one time. But earlier in 2019, I had reached out to Paige and, um, you know, I said, I wanna, can I please make amends to you? I wanna talk to you. Um, Paige and I had a, what I felt like was a very nice conversation and she apologized, I apologized, and we just kind of left it at that. So I was like, this is interesting now, why is Paige talking about me? So I watched this video last night. Um, Paige did a video where she was kind of leaving the drama community and she apologized to some degree in that video and she got criticized really harshly for this, okay? So I didn't really know what to think and in all, all honesty, I haven't had a whole lot of opinions about all this. I'm kind of like, okay, just stay over here, Peter. Just stay over here, whatever, right? So the reason I'm saying this is because I think that no matter who we are, no matter if we like somebody, no matter if we dislike somebody, no matter for what reason, I think that credit, we need to give credit where it's due. I watched this live stream from Paige last night and I have to tell you, in over two years of knowing Paige, this is probably the realest, most genuine video that I have ever seen from her. Um, and you know, not that she's asking me to judge her for that or whatever, I just was, I watched it and and I thought, you know what? Like, she's gone through some stuff. Like, she's really done some self-evaluation. And it was just kind of a moment for me where I was like, because I had gone through all of those similar things, I think, the year before her. And I was watching this, and I thought, you know, like, this is really kind of a cool moment for Paige, and I don't even know that she realizes it yet. Like, she has given herself freedom. And um, so if you haven't watched the live stream, please go watch it. She apologizes to many people in there. Um, she apologizes to Ashley Kyle, Smokey Glow. She apologizes to me uh, twice 
twice in the video. And Paige, I want you to know, if you're watching this, I fully accept your apology. I accepted it a year ago. I hope you accepted mine. Um, I wish you n nothing but the best. I, I mean that. I have forgiven you a long time ago. And um, I hope you find peace and happiness. And I've always said this to, about Paige. Like, she, you know, she's she's got her daughter now. And she's got a husband that she's happy with. And she has a house. And, you know, she has all these things that I think people would dream of. And um, I'm very happy that she has now kind of come into her own. And, you know, she said something interesting. I want to say this. I know this is kind of going along. But I did want to get on here and, and publicly acknowledge that I appreciate her saying, you know, like, I apologize to Peter Mon. And Paige, I have, I don't know if I've ever publicly done it, but I publicly apologize to you as well. Um, and, you know, she said she just doesn't want to harbor any animosity or hatred going forward. And I totally relate to that. Like, I just don't. It's too much, right? But she did say something in there that I thought was interesting. And she talked about the persona that people want in videos and all that kind of stuff. And I think, like, for some reason... People don't understand why I have five channels. Well, this is my channel where I can kind of like, you know, throw chapstick and ah, ah, be on the drama phone and flip bands and all that kind of stuff. And people enjoy seeing that over here. And I and I like to give people the moment to laugh. And I like to give people, you know, some kind of thought-provoking things. And my opinion is just one. You guys all have those opinions. And so I, I did relate to that when Paige said it was kind of an amped up version of herself, of what she would be like if she was talking to her girlfriends. And I totally relate to that, right? And I don't think there's really any drama channel out there that probably does relate to that you know so I don't know what her path is but Paige I wish you the best and um I just and, and she said in there I'm doing this for me I'm not doing this for anybody else so because somebody said I'm proud of you um and she said uh you know like I don't need to hear that but thank you like I'm not the person that Paige wants to hear that from I'm sure okay but I will say this please go watch the video if you've had any like miss if you thought twice about Paige in the last two months go watch this video it's sincere it's genuine and I think it deserves to be heard. So anyway, I just wanted to say that because, you know, I don't ever really insert myself into the drama community stuff, but I was really impressed with this video. I was, like, I walked away from it and I was like, I feel for her. So anyway, Paige, I wish you the best. And if you come back to the drama community, um, I mean, gal, you have a place here, you know, and you do drama well. So anyway, okay, let's get um, into this video today. ding a ling a ling sham a ling up oh, too early for that. Hold on a second, please. So, I have to tell you what is funny. I was on the Instagram last night, and I noticed that Jaclyn Hill on her Instagram, well, first of all, Jaclyn Hill is getting a lot of criticism because she posted this video, and I think it's called My Winter Favorites or something, which was obviously a video called, like, My Holiday Favorites, but <laughs> holiday. But she went in and had to have, I mean, her editing process must be so long at this point because she's got, like, a, a ski hat on. The Christmas tree is behind her, and I'm like, this is obviously, like, okay, we're almost now to Valentine's Day, and I know Valentine's Day trees are real popular, but whatever. So, anyway, so I'm, you know, like, kind of watch kind of watching the video but you know she's getting a lot of criticism because she put one of her brand's items in there and people are saying a lot of stuff about this like can you imagine like i mean it is funny haha ha, right but at the same time like <laughs> every other beauty influencer out there like you know pushes their own products like over and over i think james charles only uses his palette right so for Jaclyn Hill to do a favorites, a winner favorites, and not include one of her products, I mean, A, would be stupid as a businesswoman, you know? But B, I'm sure she does love some of her own products. I mean, I don't know about those lipsticks, but I'm sure she loves some of her own products. You know what I mean? So I'm seeing all this go down. People are giving her a lot of criticism for that. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. But then I go over and... Um, sh okay. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is a friend of mine. Okay, so I was like driving today and I like looked over and the bus next to me had this thing on it. And I thought for a second it was my friend. I have a really good friend. And I texted her and her son is like six. And I texted her and I said, um, where is it? Oh my God, have I texted so many people since then? Okay. So I said, oh my God, I thought this was you from far away on the side of a bus. And she says, that is hilarious. My son thought that was me too. <laughs> It does look so much like her. Oh, the days of Peter Mon. Let me just tell you. Okay, I'm getting my hair cut tomorrow. <laughs> Y'all care? I'm so excited, okay? But anyway, so then I was sitting there and I was watching her Instagram story. Now, I'm having major difficulties getting screen recorded videos up onto my iMovie. Like, it, I can transfer it to my computer just fine. I've done it in the past. But for some reason in iMovie, it loses all sound. And I have the microphone on. I have everything. I don't know what is going on. When I record it, record it. When I record it, it has sound. And then when I transfer it, it has no sound. So I don't know what's going on with that. 
It doesn't matter, okay? Jacqueline put up this Instagram story um, of her boyfriend, Farnham. <laughs> and I will put it right here, the picture. And it says, how cute is he? Mom is teaching him her recipe for fried chicken and mashed potatoes. And so they're like in the kitchen and he's standing there and she's like, you know, showing them how to cook and all that kind of stuff. And then the other pictures, I'll put up another picture. She's cooking there and he's holding the dog behind her and all that kind of stuff. So very, very sweet. But I was like... Ding, 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 ding. Bells are going off, right? And I think this is really interesting how Jacqueline is handi handling this. And if you guys know differently, and she's been singing, you know, from the mountaintops about this, let me know. But that, I have not seen that, right? So what I was thinking about, though, was that I had received, where is it at? I had received, oh, I want to go back about the makeup for a second, okay? So, <laughs> you'll have to wait for the tea. So I was on my video the other day and I was, somebody said something about Jaclyn Hill and somebody said, so do you think Jaclyn Hill is getting ready to launch a new product or did she just put up a video because, and someone said she has a reason, LOL, they repackaged her Morphe collections. So maybe she is going to try to resell that. And then somebody said, oh really? I'm just assuming that she's going to be releasing something soon as this definitely seems to be her pattern now. Only puts a couple, one videos up, then a new launch. I think we know that about Jaclyn now. I mean, she's just not loving the YouTube at this point, right? Somebody said, I'm just assuming that's why, lol, because I agree she only uploads when she is going to sell something. Um, and then somebody else said, um, I'm in Canada, so no Ulta. I wonder if it's just shiny new packaging or did they fix the formula? So going back to that, um, you know, it's interesting, like, is Jacqueline about to come out with a new product and that's why she put up this winter favorites? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, but I wanted to put that because I had saved that and that was in my receipts. Whitney. Okay, the other thing I wanted to talk about was that I had received so talking about Farnham in the kitchen <laughs> someone's in the kitchen with Farnham someone's in the kitchen I know oh 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 Farnham if you do not use that for your new channel okay you are missing out on free I will give that to you for free so anyway I was like listening to you guys know this song Mamma Mia this was the last time that I was up at the casino. This is so bad, okay? I'm like sitting there and I was raised on ABBA, okay? I know every ABBA song, Super Trooper, all the songs, right? Dancing Queen, I know all of them. And I'm sitting there and I hear Mamma Mia and for some reason I thought it said gonorrhea! Oh my God! I was like, oh my God, family friendly. But anyway, so I'm watching this and all my bells and whistles are going off, right? And I'm like, what is going on here? Okay. So I remembered that KT, she sent me, I, I think it's, I want to make sure that I'm getting the name absolutely, KT. KT sent me a direct message and she said, love your videos. Thank you, KT. Oh my God. And then she said, um, by the way, did you know that Jacqueline Hill's boyfriend has a YouTube channel? It's called More Seasoning. Ding-a-ling-a-ling, a ling a ling dang ding dong Ding! <laughs> Woo! How's the drama drama from Mrs. Peter speaking? Hello? Oh, Jane! I've had to be uh, disguising my voice all day long because of the, the spam risks. Jane, the spam risks. Uh, mm -hmm. No, not spam sandwich. Jane, you need to get your hearing checked. Not spam sandwiches. I love that spam. Uh -huh. Well, I know one time I did make, I did make, well, I was out of, I was out of tuna, so I couldn't make tuna tetrazzini, so I made spam tetrazzini. The girls really seemed to like it at the women's club. The women's league, <laughs> the women's, oh, I've been drinking so much, Jane, I've lost my mind. Uh, what? No, I've been getting the spam calls. Oh, that direct TV, they just constantly call me, uh-huh. Yeah. Constantly. Oh, the direct TV, they just won't leave me alone. And the number always comes up, and it looks so familiar to me, and then I answer, and this one time I was talking to this guy, he was so nice. He just went on and on and on. We talked, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, Don's not, he's with his lady friend most nights, so I am looking for people to talk to. I, I think we talked about two and a half hours on the phone, this direct TV guy and I, uh-huh. But as soon as I told him that we weren't interested, that, you know, uh-huh, uh-huh, that Don's got the Roku. The Roku. Oh, Jane, I can't, I can't explain the Roku to you. But as soon as I, uh, I told him that Don had the Roku and he didn't want the direct TV, he hung up on me. We weren't friends anymore. Friends, we weren't. Well, all right, Jane, I know. Friends is over. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> so anyway. Oh, I was going to do this whole little... I, see? I was going to do this whole little thing, but... Oh, by the way, I've been watching this amazing cooking show on YouTube, Jane. It's called More Seasoning. <laughs> okay, so I have been watching um, these videos. Well, there's only five. I haven't been watching now. I went to this channel. I watched all five videos, okay? So... 
Farnham, Jaclyn Hill's boyfriend. What is it with Jaclyn Hill? It is like six degrees of YouTube separation, okay? So Jaclyn Hill was married to John Hill. Now he's doing Q&As and things like that, apparently, on his music channel, okay? Then he dated Ashley Van Horn, Ashlyn Van Horn. Ashley. <laughs> Gone with the wind. I'm giggly today. So then he dated Ashlyn Van Horn. She started a beauty channel. Okay. Then Jacqueline dated, now she's dating Farnham. And I thought his name was Jordan. Where did I get that from? Anyway, <laughs> did I lose my mind somewhere along the way? <laughs> anyway, so now Farnham, he has his own cooking channel, which is called More Seasoning. And I have to tell you, when I first heard about this, the reason I didn't immediately just hop, skip, and jump right over to that is, hey, I don't love I don't love cooking channels, okay? But I will tell you that um, Indianapolis, thank you, Indianapolis. Hey, who's yours in the house? Just got a new resident YouTuber, Highfalutin Carb. So go check out Highfalutin Carb. I will link his uh, channel underneath there. He does really great cooking videos. I love his videos. So anyway, um, so uh, what was I going to say? So I go over to Farnham's channel. And his channel, I have it pulled up right here. It's called More Seasoning. I will put a little screenshot of that right there for you. And um, his it has 19.6 thousand subscribers, okay? And the thumbnails are fantastic. I don't know who's doing the thumbnails, but oh, it only has five videos. I thought it had four. The first video is Make This Salmon Your Wife Will Love You. Um, okay, so what's so funny about this is if you go watch it, I mean, like, it's a different kind of cooking show, right? And he constantly is referring to Jacqueline as, like, my girl, my girl. It's really endearing, you guys, okay? Like, I have to tell you, like, Laura Lee's husband, Tyler, I love his channel, okay? I love his channel. By the way, Laura Lee and her, uh, I think it's her niece, they adopted Aaron. Like, the videos that they do with Aaron are adorable. And I love Aaron as an up-and-coming beauty influencer. The influencer, I hate that word. That... But you know what I'm saying, okay? She's so sweet, and I love those videos. And um, I wish, like, Laura Lee would put out, like, a family vlogging channel, which is kind of Tyler's channel, but I wish she would do that more on her channel. So anyway, so I was like, okay. I mean, I love that Tyler does, like, his videos, right? So I wanted to see this. So I go in here. You guys, these videos are so good. They are so good. He is, like, I think that, you know, like, he has been in, like, behind the spotlight of Jacqueline for like so long now that like because nobody really thought much about him except for that he was Jacqueline Hill's boyfriend but when you watch him on here you totally understand a why Jacqueline likes him because he has a really likable you know personality his videos are really well done you guys I don't even cook I hate to cook and I watch literally all of the videos from beginning to end they're really they're really endearing videos and they're very well done it's a cooking video too and he has all the recipes and all the ingredients and everything underneath there so he's got make the salmon your wife will love you the best taco tuesday recipe more flavor the best pasta you will ever have i mean these videos are getting views the first one has eighty thousand views i'm starting me a cooking channel listen okay everybody keeps on saying are you gonna start a six channel yes man you heard it here first i'm starting a cooking channel i'm starting a cooking channel don't think i'm not okay it's going to call Come Cook with Fatty. <laughs> Come Cook with Liz Large Marge. Okay, we're going to make some pudding today. So anyway, oh my God. Pudding. My friend in high school used to do that. She doesn't watch my videos, but she's the only one that would get that. Anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I'm a, I am, I am. Okay, I'm going to start a cooking channel. That's my sixth channel. People keep on asking if I'm going to start a sixth channel. Listen, all these YouTubers are starting two, three, four channels. I'm starting a cooking channel. Don't think I'm not. I mean, he's getting the views on here. The best pasta you will ever have, 92,000 views. What's interesting to me is that he's getting all these views, but not that many people are subscribing to him. And then breakfast, but better, huevos rancheros. I love those so much, but I'm a vegetarian now, so I can't have all that but anyway, okay, anyway, go check out his channel. It's fantastic, and she exposes a little secret. I think Jacqueline should come out, if she hasn't already, and said, go follow my boyfriend's channel, because it's good, and I like it, you know? And I think, just because he's Jacqueline Hill's boyfriend doesn't mean that he can't, like, push his own channel through her. I'm telling you right now, I have been trying to get my husband to start a YouTube channel for something. He's like, I do not want any part of that mess. He was like, I, and for a while, he really thought about it. He's like, well, what would I do? He's like, my personality doesn't translate real well on YouTube. Because, I mean, he his videos, let's just say, would probably get demonetized. <laughs> he cusses a little. But anyway, I love Jesus, but I cuss a little. Oh, I need Jesus in my life today. But anyway, so if it were my husband... 
<laughs> I mean, like Joey Graceffa's boyfriend, Daniel Prada, he started a channel and I love it, okay? I love it. And no offense to Joey Graceffa, who I watched for a long time. I, I was telling a friend of mine this the other day, he went on a trip with Daniel to Tokyo a couple years ago. And after that, I just kind of stopped watching. I don't know why. Do you ever just kind of do that? Like you watch a YouTuber for a long time and then you just stop watching him? But Daniel's channel, I love Daniel's channel. I mean, he doesn't post very often, but I love Daniel's channel. And his personality is so funny. I think a lot of partners of people, you know, if they start their own channels, I think it's interesting. I like that. I don't have an issue with that at all, right? So I know somebody's going to probably pull up a receipt when I said something about Ashlyn Van Horn. Good luck to you, Ashlyn. Listen, it's 2020. I just want everybody to be happy. I just want everybody to be successful, be happy, make the most of their lives. And yeah, that's what I got to say about all that. Anything else I want to say? I don't think so. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.